Good evening, Chisholm Trail. It is approximately 6.30 on Monday, March the 23rd. I pray that everyone is staying safe and you guys are adhering to social distancing along with um, washing your hands. And if you're sick, please make sure that you're staying away from your family and, uh, and anyone else. I just wanted to follow up with you all from uh, our conversations last uh, last week and also be able to answer some questions regarding the time that we will be able to spend together virtually. Uh, first of all, I want to make sure that I am valuing your time, uh, your time with your students, but also and probably most importantly, the time with your uh, with your family. So I will try to only come on a virtual call with everyone if it is absolutely necessary or if there's information that I believe is pertinent uh, for me to share with you all. Um, so at this time, I will communicate with you all via uh, these, video, uh, these video communications. Of course, you guys uh, have my cell phone number, also my email. If at any time you need to be in contact with me, please make sure that you reach out to me and I will try to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Understanding that I have been experiencing some issues with my cell phone and um, uh, there have been a number of text messages that I have not received from people just because I believe the magnitude of the information that is over the network. So if you do send me a text message and I don't get back to you, please um, uh, be patient with me as I've tried to routinely restart my phone so that I could get that information um, as it comes through. The next thing that I wanted to uh, express to you all is how proud I am of all of the work that you guys put in to be able to um, reach out to our students and begin the distance learning uh, that we are experiencing. I received a number of uh, positive communications from students and from parents alike. Just a reminder that this first week of distance learning, we are not taking any grades on uh, on information that students have not been exposed to, and we are not taking um, any grades on uh, reviews that students have had. Remember, this first week is purely about us um, re uh, reestablishing the relationship, but then also ensuring that uh, our students have an opportunity for enrichment. Okay, so again, no grades should be taken on this first week. We are getting information from Dr. Parker and Ed Services, Educational Services, uh, Educational Services in our district uh, as to what grading will look like uh, coming up. But I will tell you, uh, sitting at the uh, kitchen table with my daughter as she's working on assignments from, uh, from her campus, I'm very, very proud to be a public educator. I'm very proud of the work that our uh, teachers have put in just to extend learning to our students in this very, very difficult time. So uh, I'm grateful for all of the work that you guys are putting in along with trying to be parents and um, extending those learning opportunities to your own children. So keep up the, the, uh, keep up the good work and, uh, and I can assure you that uh, we'll be better for it. Uh, the last thing that I want to express is how important it is for us to extend these opportunities for, uh, for our students. Um, we know and understand that anytime students are not engaged in uh, education, there is a uh, there's a gap that can happen, and we want to make sure that we limit that gap as much as we possibly can. So I'm grateful for all of the work that you guys are putting in at, um, at this point, and you will continue um, uh, to put in. Uh, thank you for all again. Thank you for all of the well wishes that you guys have established. I've loved seeing some of the the videos and the photos that you guys are posting on social media sites um, uh, expressing how, how great it is for us to be able to collaborate one with another, but also ex um, extending those learning opportunities to our, uh, uh, to our students. So continue to good work, uh, the good work. And of course, if I can ever be of service to you guys at any point in any way, shape, form, or fashion, please make sure that you guys extend that courtesy or that opportunity to me. Have a great evening. Talk with you soon. Love you.